Okay, I won't go through this. You know where Malaysia is. But when we talk about Malaysia, it means the peninsula Malaysia and Malaysia Borneo, including uh, the federal, uh, those territories like uh, Labuan. Okay, uh, I'll be focusing on uh, legislations governing the use of chemicals at work, which is enforced by DOSH, Department of Occupation, Safety and Health. Okay, DOSH is actually enforcing two acts, OSHA 94 as well as Factory and Machinery Act. And for your information, uh, we are in the midst of uh, migrating uh, most, uh, some of the regulations under Factory Machinery Act 1967 into OSHA Act, um, which is still in the pipeline now. So what I have listed here are all the legislations uh, regarding chemicals which might be affected after the new class is introduced. Okay, this is uh, just a sim simplified GHS format which is available in a DOSH web portal whereby uh, this is for awareness to uh, public and also to the officers. Okay, this is the front page of the ICOP, which I mentioned just now, it has not been published yet, should be any time in April. So in ICOP, what do we have in ICOP? ICOP is actually, uh, we have all these um, part, four parts. Part one is the list of classified chemicals. At the moment, we have classified only uh, 200 plus chemicals, but will be updated from time to time. And part two is chemicals classification. Here it consists of decision logic, how to do classification, which data sources to look at. Uh, part three is hazard communications on labeling and safety data sheets and CBI, confidential business information. So I think for uh, most of you here are chemical suppliers, I think you, don't, you won't find that much problem on uh, safety data sheets because it's similar to the previous CPL 97. The only difference is it should be in the sequence and the sequence has changed a little bit from the previous one. Okay, so I just summarize this. These are the responsibilities of supplier. The principal supplier, principal supplier, these are principal supplier, these are their duties. But if you are manufacturer and importer, which is part of the principal supplier, only two, you only do inventory plus the rest. And the subsidiary supplier who are repacker, distributor or retailer, you only do these three, packaging, labeling and CSDS, and you take the classification from the principal supplier. Okay, the hazard classification that we adopt in the class regulation uh, is similar to GHS third revised edition except the blue colored one, which is category four for flammable liquids, it's not included. For health hazard, a category five for acute tox, oral dermal inhalation, um, category five not included as well as aspiration hazard. I think this is similar to you, EU. Okay, and hazard class for uh, environmental hazard, cat, one, uh, cat two and three for aquatic acute hazard are not included as well. In summary, there are still many legislations uh, ongoing in order to incorporate GHS for other sectors, but for industrial workplaces ready. And when, I, I'm sure most of you are interested, when is this going to be enforced? So with that, thank you.